Hi everybody, I am Katie the Crafty Blog Stalker and I'm so excited about today's project. We are going to be making, can you hear it? This awesome wind chime. Yay! Now I had originally done this project with a craft kit, but that craft kit is no longer available. So I thought it would be fun to show you how to make it when you had to gather your own supplies. So let's go ahead and get started. The supplies we need for our wind chime is our printable template, and I'll have the link for that below. Just some simple transparent gift wrapping tape, E6000 glue, some fishing line, a stick, and some sea glass. My favorite sea glass that I was able to find came from Michael's. So let's get started and we're gonna start with the template, the printable template. This is how the printable template looks once it is printed. And the first thing we want to do is tape the two pieces together. And it doesn't have to be exact, but you just kinda of wanna make these squares the same size as the squares above it and below it. And then we're just gonna tape it together. Now we are going to tape this to our tabletop just so it doesn't move. We're going to bring in our sea glass and just open up our boxes and pour them out. I bought two because I wasn't exactly sure how many I would need, but we may only need one. We will find out. <laughs> we bought an extra one just in case. Okay, so there are our sea glass pieces. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit the pieces to the squares on our template. I'm not gonna worry about color order just yet. I'm just going to be placing the pieces that fit inside the specific squares. Now that we've got all the pieces laid out on our template, oh, whoops, I missed one. We need one more. There we go. Now that we have all the pieces laid out on our template, now we can decide how we want the color to go. Do we want it to be random, kind of like it is right now? Do we want it to maybe be more of an ombre uh, effect? And so we can just play around with that a little bit and see how we like that. So I'm going to try with the ombre effect. And for the ombre, I want all of the, I'm gonna go green, or like the blue, purple, green is I think how I'll go. So I'm gonna move all the, the blue pieces up. And so that is how it will look. There actually aren't any large purple pieces in my two boxes, uh, but that's okay. I really kind of like how this looks. So there is the order of our uh, sea glass pieces. Now we are going to bring in our fishing line. And I just got this out of my husband's garage. You could also use beading um, line as well. You just wanna make sure that it doesn't have any stretch to it. So we are not gonna cut pieces off, off from it yet. We're gonna grab our tape. And you see this line down the center of our, of our um, sea glass pieces. That is where we are going to glue the line onto. So we're going to tape a piece above the, um, the template. And then we're going to tape a piece below the template and then we'll cut it. And we're gonna do that for each line. Now that we have all of our fishing line pieces taped down, now we're gonna go over it with our E6000 and we are just gonna put a dot of glue right on top of the line 
at the top of the and the bottom of each of each rock there. And just go down the whole line. Now we're going to let this dry for about 30 minutes before we continue to the next step. So I've let these dry for about 30 minutes and the glue is no longer tacky. Uh, so the next step is to turn them over. So I'm going to peel up the tape and I'm going to turn the whole strand over. And then we're going to tape it back down. Now we're going to bring in our scissors, tape, and a fishing line again, and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to put another line over the top and we are going to tape it down. And we're going to do the same thing again, putting a dot of glue at the top and bottom of each place the line meets on those sea glass pieces. And again, we are going to let this dry for about 30 minutes. For the top piece of our wind chime, I had this big stick here and I just measured and cut off 12 inches. Now, if you're lucky enough to live in an area that has lots of branches, then good for you. I'm actually a little embarrassed to say that I had to go buy this stick but it worked out, so it was just fine. Um, so 12 inches on the width of the stick, and then I drilled some holes through the ends, about three quarters of an inch in, as you can see there. Now I've got this thick twine, and I'm gonna cut off a good portion, or a good length of it. I think that's enough there. So we're gonna cut that off. This is a nice dirty twine. And we've got one taped edge, so we're gonna hope that that'll fit into our drilled hole. Just kind of twist it in. And then I'm going to come up and go in on the other end and do the same thing. So now I want to kind of decide how long I want that hanger to be. And I am going to tie a knot in the twine and pull it as tight as I can. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut off that end. And I'm going to pull that just a little bit tight. Check my length here before I cut. Yep, that'll be good. And I'm gonna cut that end off. Okay, so there is our hanger. That is what our wind chime is going to hang from. We're going to bring in our sea glass pieces again. And we are going to get ready to 
um, tie them onto our wood stick. Now what we want to do is have the bottom string underneath our stick and the top string over the top. We don't want to twist our, um, our strands here because then they'll be twisted and we don't want that. So one on top, one on bottom. And then we are going to go through and we are going to do a right over left and a left over right knot. So let's keep track. So we've got a right over left And then we're gonna do a left over right. Okay, and that will make it so we can still adjust. Now that we have them all tied, we can trim off the extra pieces down here at the base of the stone. And we just want to cut that piece off as close to that little daub of glue as we can. So now what we want to do, ah, look how cool. Now what we want to do is go and hang this somewhere so we can adjust the lengths and figure out the spacing exactly. The reason we did the right over left, left over right knot is because we can still move the knot. We can either pull it tighter by pulling on the ends up here or we can make it longer by pulling on it down here. So we're gonna hang this up somewhere and do some adjustments. So I'll be right back after I've made those. Okay, now that I've got them adjusted how I want, I'm gonna bring it back in and bring in this piece of paper just to protect my surface. And I'm gonna come back with my E6000 glue and put a dot of glue over that knot and kind of glue that strand, that fishing line strand into place. Now again, we're gonna let these little knots dry for, we probably don't need to do quite as long, quite as long as 30 minutes, but we are gonna let these dry a little bit before we move on or before we're completely finished. So now we've let these dry, so now we get to trim these off. And are you ready for it? Listen to that sound. Yay, I love, I love my new wind chime. This is so fun. I'm so excited to go hang it up somewhere. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. While you're here, I would love for you to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. And of course, you can always find me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks, everybody. Bye, and happy crafting!